Question 8 of the Photoelectric Effect Worksheet. This is taken from the February-March paper 2011. So, they tell you a group of learners perform an investigation to compare the effect. So, we're comparing things of two types of radiation on the emission of photoelectrons from zinc. They place the zinc plate on top of a negatively charged electroscope. That's important. Ultraviolet. So, we're using ultraviolet light and red light are shone alternately onto the zinc plate as shown below with the electroscope fully charged in each case. What we're looking for is for the leaves here to drop. So what do we see is with the ultraviolet light the gold leaf collapses. With the red light there's no effect on the deflect deflection of the gold leaves. Now they ask you to write down an investigation investigative question so just a reminder this cannot be a yes no question so you can't say does the type of radiation affect the have an effect on the photoelectrons in it? And of course it does so it's how what what how will it affect it which affects it okay so with what they did they were very specific okay in um, the effect. So they said um, they wanted to know, compare the effect, okay? So here there's different ways you can answer it, but they're really looking for, are you looking at the types of radiation and the effect? So a question could be something like, which type of radiation... will emit photoelectrons from the, oopsie, the zinc, question mark, okay, which type, which radiation, which type of radiation will have the biggest effect on the photoelectrons emitted from the zinc? Okay, photoelectrons simply because we, it's the electrons that are being emitted by photons. That's why we call them photoelectrons. Then they say explain the observation made for the ultraviolet light. Now remember, the gold leaves collapse. So why does it collapse? Because we've made electrons leave the electroscope. So the electrons that were here went, oh, I like it, and they left. So these electrons that were in here get taken off and these electrons go, oh no, that's more positive. So they travel up, the gold leaf becomes less negative, so they drop, okay? So, explain. Well, UV light, UV light emits photo, whoopsie, photo electrons from the zinc electrons from the gold leaf move upward let's spell that right for you shall we Yes, negative charges on the gold leaf. Okay, what are we looking for? That you recognize that it's about the electrons moving away. All right. What conclusion can be drawn? Now, it's a very, very simple investigation. They've only compared UV light and red light, okay? So for our conclusion, only UV light will eject 
photo electrons from the surface of the zinc. Okay, then the learners have access to the following information. The work function of zinc is 6,88 etc etc you can read through that then they say define the work function now if you've done a couple of these questions by now in this worksheet or other previous past papers you'll see this is a very common question define work function so the work function is the minimum minimum energy required to eject an electron from the surface of a metal. Great. Use a calculation to explain why red light fails to emit a photoelectron from the surface of the zinc plate. So let's just look at what we've got. We know the frequency. So what we actually need to know is whether red, what, how, we need to compare the, the energy of the red light to the work function. Okay, so energy of red light is HF. So this is 6,63 times 10 to the minus 34 times 4,49 times 10 to the 14, 2,84 times 10 to the minus 19, and wow, it is significantly smaller. So the energy of red light is smaller than the work function, therefore no electrons can are emitted. Okay. Please don't forget this last part. This is where you get your last mark from. So if you forget to put that in there, what you're doing is you're not interpreting your answer. I want to know whether you understand what the value means that you've got. So don't forget to interpret your answer.